Hi folks, I'm back with another video and I know it's been a little while but I did say I'm only going to post videos really when I've got something of interest to post so I'm not churning out videos daily. This is just something interesting, I had a little problem I needed to solve. So I found an interesting solution for it which is quite simple but in essence this, this video is going to be really of interest to users, Linux users that are using the KDE desktop. So that could be on Kubuntu or Manjaro Linux or whichever of the distros actually supports KDE as a desktop. The reason is I'm using one of their plugins for wallpapers and it is essentially just displaying a live wallpaper of any web page. But it, you know, you could, there's actually other options for videos and a few other interesting things. I'll, I'll just show a few of them. So the challenge I had was here's a website that I've got displayed here in the Firefox browser at the moment. This is just a site that I like to watch all the ham radio operators worldwide that are right now making contacts using, I've set it for JS8 digital mode at the moment. And the software, the JS8 call software in this case, is updating whenever it makes contacts, whether it's received or sent. So this page is updating live the whole time. I'm, I've got it to show the last 30 minutes, any band, any call signs. But I just wanted to keep a sort of a bird's eye view. No, this would be more like a space station satellite eye view, really, of, of when and what is happening. But I don't want to keep opening a browser page and that sort of thing. So I thought, you know, can I not make this a live desktop wallpaper? So this is inside Firefox at the moment. So let me just get Firefox out of the way and I'll show you what I've come up with and what's working for me now. This is actually my desktop now. And you can see if I move over the icons, there are the icons reacting and I can click over here. It literally is a desktop. Um, I, can, I can highlight as if it's a desktop. What you'll notice at the bottom here though is look here, the reception records. It's literally live updating from the website the whole time. So it shows you it is a live website page that it's displaying. You know, you could use this for other things like maybe even a news site or anything else you're looking for. So let me just show you how I did it for, and this is why it's quite easy on KDE actually. If you right click on your desktop and you go to configure desktop and wallpaper, You'll see I've got an option here at the moment for HTML wallpaper. By default, you're not going to see that. So, so to get this option, you're going to go to get new plugins. And this is where you would download additional wallpaper plugins. If you just open this view up a little bit, you can see here smart video wallpapers, dynamic wallpapers, animated images. So some of these other options are going to give you literally video playing and other things but the one we're looking for here to display HTML wallpaper if you go down a bit it's called HTML wallpaper and if I just open the details up briefly you'll see this plugin allows you to use web pages as your KDE plasma wallpaper so you're going to install this in the normal way you do have to have Qt5 web engine already installed in my case it was so I didn't have to install it specifically, but if, if, if it isn't, it'll probably complain and you must just go and install it from the normal repos. But the important thing just to remember to, before you're going to see it and it's active, you do need to log out and log back in again to your desktop. Otherwise, you, you won't see the option. So, all right, I would have then clicked install. If I'd logged out and I logged in, then I would see the option. These are the normal options. I would see that additional option, HTML wallpaper. I selected that. I put in the address over here, the, the website address, and this is where you'd put in your new site or whatever you want to put in actually. And in my case, because it was very far zoomed out, I just zoomed it into two and a half to give this view where it gives you more or less the world. Otherwise, you're going to see the world repeated a whole lot of times. You could enable input focus. Now, I understand how it's supposed to work is if you've got it on folder view for your desktop, that is, it it'll give you the icons, okay, and it won't have focus. So I'm not sure if it's going to it's going to enable focus here. I see it says when using desktop view layout. So I know certainly if you change it here to desktop type layout, then you're going to have interactive focus with your 
desktop background, then I would actually be able to click on some of these buttons in the background on the, call it the browser, and actually interact with it. But in this case, I don't really want to. I just want this thing to display sort of statically and update in the background. And that was basically it. That's all I really had to do. So yeah, I chose HTML wallpaper, put the URL in, made sure it was on folder view because I didn't want focus. And it was okay. And that's it. And you'll see it is actually updating the whole time. There are the original buttons you can see in the background. There are the buttons that were part of the website in the, behind the icons. But you'll see there's no focus for them at the moment. So yeah, that's really actually it. I just wanted to show this and thought it might be of interest to people. Very useful if you just want some other website that you want displayed. Now I've actually got three monitors. So yes, you could right click on each of the desktops and have a different web page in the background. Obviously a web page is going to be more suited to something that is dynamically updating generally. Could have been a photo or anything else, I suppose. So yeah, I hope somebody found that interesting and you found that it might have some use for you. And that's it. Stay well and stay safe out there and I'll see you in my next video.